Yes! He freaking did it in how long time now? You see, it's not such a big difference in angle, but it made a pretty big impact, huh? Hey guys, Router Unlocks, and today we're gonna do our second sort of live coaching with Roger. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, it's good to have you here. So we're gonna push it even harder this time to make Roger into a skier. He's usually a snowboarder. So uh, now we're gonna try to teach you how to box slide, all right? And we're gonna see how far we can take him. Since he has his snowboard experience, maybe we can take you pretty far in the next two and a half hours that we have today. Looking forward to it. With my current opinion, the fastest way to learn how to box slide in the beginning is to do it with rotation. So the first thing we're gonna teach Roger is a couple of things to know about spinning 90s and 180s. And then we're gonna try the box. The first thing for you to have in mind when rotating on skis is basically have the same position as when jumping, but you can have the feet slightly wider than hip width. Not too much. This is going to help with a bit of wind up, but since we're only going to spin 90 on the box, we don't need to do so much. But we're going to try a couple of 180s first. So this same position, a bit of wind up with the arms to the side and the hip too. And then you just combine that with the pop. Give it a try. That was nice. I just like you to keep your eyes up. Okay. Uh, picture that you're looking at the end of the box or towards the landing. Okay. Yeah. Since you're a snowboarder, that took almost no corrections. <laughs> Let's try it on the snow now. The wind up. Ooh. As you guys noticed, this case is almost too easy to teach, <laughs> but there, that 180 on the flat slope wasn't that great. You were landing like that, pre-folded together. That's not perfect. Um, when you do that on a box, it's gonna lead to you slipping out and landing on your hip. I want you to do this as little as possible. This is unpleasant. Okay. All right, so try to land more on your heels this time. So you land upright in the same nice skiing position as you do it normally. Right. Does it make sense? Yeah. All right, let's try again here. Take it a little easy. That was better. Yeah, good work. Uh, you landed much more on the he heels this time. Yeah. That you level out and hit the landing perpendicular, just like when jumping normal. Uh, now we're going to try to make this even easier actually. It's going to help you with the box slide. Let's try to do a 180, but you keep looking at the landing. This helps you a lot when you're box sliding. Does it make sense? Yes, I'm basically like this. Yeah, when you land, you're going to be like this, so you look where you're going. Okay. And off the box, that's going to make you feel much safer. Let's try it off this tiny side here. I want to correct your posture okay. and show you how I want you to land on the box. So basically you're going to do like the 180, a uh, gentle pop, you don't need to do jump high, but then spin like 45 to 90 degrees on it. But then when you land, I'm going to skip the pose and I suggest you do too. So the stance, I'd like your feet to be a little bit wider and then try to extend the uphill leg now. So you put more weight in the downhill one. So you start sliding away. You feel that? Yeah. And it's important that you have your edges flat on the box, especially the back foot. The front foot can sometimes be a little bit on edge. It's okay, but let's try to keep both flat. And first time we do it, try to land with your hand like next to the downhill ski's knee. Try to bring the knee out a little bit so you edge it a little less, exactly like that. And you look at the landing. Oh, you see, there you ended up being a little bit too wide. Then you ended up on the downhill edge. That's also a little bit sketchy. So, a little bit wide, extend this one and put the hand down here and look towards the landing. Yeah. Shall I show you one time and then we we'll try it? Woo. 
Wow, it's almost too easy to teach. It's almost not realistic. But uh, then we're just going to push him as far as we can. But first watch that slow motion of him and see if we can find some flaws. Something to correct. All right, here's the problem. Almost not. I can, can't even complain about this. So what I was thinking is that ideally when you spin, here you should have already extended your legs and swung your arms. Do you see what I mean? Like when you pop, basically you want to have your belly button pointing straight forwards. Okay. Maybe a tiny bit more, it's okay, but here is quite a lot. So when you're popping, like the upper body has already spun 90 degrees and skis are still straight. Yeah. This is a bit dangerous when you want to learn 360s later on. Okay. You can catch an edge, so let's see if you can have a bit more patience. We practice a couple times in a ski boost to get this timing right, then we try again. Okay, cool. So now, when you had popped the most, your upper body was already here. Does that make sense? Yeah. So now, like, when you extend your legs and unwind, here you want to be fully straight. And then you start rotating. Try it one time in your ski boots. That was better. Look forwards. Look at the landing. Much better. One more time and then we hit it. Great. Turning feels way easier as yeah. well. Like but let's try it one time and imagine we're doing it onto a box. So you wind up. And off. Do it again, but a little bit slower, like you would do on the box. You were almost too fast rotating. Look. Nice. Let's try it like that, but also with the hand down here. Just to make sure you're not s slamming on your hip. <laughs> yeah. Box slide. Yeah. Dude, look at this. That looks better, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Wow, it's really smooth. I really enjoy that. And uh, look, look at the timing now. It, it is much better. It's still, still a little bit, a little bit, but you're holding back, and it's great. Look at that. What you could add is a little pop off the end, okay? So you jump a little bit, but otherwise, I think that's great. And I think we should get uh, going and try a more difficult box. We gotta challenge you, you know, you're too talented. Okay. <laughs> so since this box is much steeper, we're first gonna like step sideways onto it and then slide it. Focus on that hand on the knee so that you lean downhill. You know, since that's the box, you have to commit forwards. If you don't, pew, hip crash. So commit forwards. But it makes sense. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So without speed, just yeah, something like this, if you give me a little bit of space. So basically, be careful at this moment. And I to maintain good balance, keep the front hand by the front knee, both skied flat against the box, and slightly wider than hip width apart. Try the same. Really, and wide legs. Whoa. Oh, that's better. Way better. All right. Do you feel ready to try with a bit of speed? I guess so, yeah. I know we're moving on a little bit fast to have time to make this video, but <laughs> uh, basically exactly the same thing as we did on the beginner box. Okay. Now, what I want you to really think about is to lean forwards. Keep that front hand by the front knee to help you lean forwards. That's it. And approach the jump from straight from behind. Like straight on it, rotate on it, and then hopefully we smash it. Okay. So I'll do a little like demo before, for you. Jump and 90 degrees. Yeah, and look at the landing also is gonna help you a lot. All right, let's try again. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That was a really good first attempt. I'm psyched about it. 
But what you did there was a little dangerous was that you had your feet somewhat close together. You just need to widen them a little bit. I'm very happy with it. You like standing on a snowboard? A little bit more narrow than that, I think. Cool. All right, try again. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's much better. Sinking down a little bit, but the skis are a little bit like that, which I don't like so much. But he said, hey, I'm a snowboarder. I don't have no muscles for that kind of control. Yeah, snowboarders, huh? <laughs> Great work so far. Now, the only thing you have left that sort of annoys me is that, yeah, you're not so comfortable on it that you get a duck stance, just like on a snowboard. Yeah. But you know, you're a snowboarder. <laughs> well, you know, try to keep them straight. But since we got a crazy high goal for this afternoon, to learn in three hours, we need to start hitting this box from the side. So I'm gonna draw two lines in the jump. It's important that you follow them more or less exactly. Okay. And then we do the same thing. So you jump from the side, 90 degrees onto the box, exactly what we've been doing. Let's, let's give it a go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, guess which tracks are yours? Um, this. Yeah, so these ones are yours, this is mine. Yeah. You see, it's not such a big difference in angle, but it made a pretty big impact, huh? Yeah, I felt it, I went straight over the ball. Yeah, so let's, I'll show you once more, you try to follow my tracks exactly, and we'll see if, we'll, if you'll make it to the end. Okay. All right. Yeah! Wow, that, that was good work, man. Thanks. All right, to keep up this incredibly high paced, let's imagine now that the box is like that much higher. That's gonna prepare you for the next box. Okay. That's much higher that you really have to jump up on. So as you imagine that it's higher, I'm gonna film it from the side to make sure that you actually lift your nose as high enough to make it up on our next sort of advanced level box. Cool. Think you're ready? I hope so. All right, man. Wow! Sick! Ha! <laughs> you're ready, I think. Okay. I'm gonna have another look at it, but that was good, man. Look at that. How high are you were jumping? Like, if you compare it to the box behind us, you still have like 15 centimeters above that. So if you do the exact same thing as you did over there now. This box is going to be easy peasy for you, okay. but it is longer, it's higher. you have to jump from the side, it's scarier, so it may not go as planned, but you know, if you do just like we practice, I think you're going to be just fine. You're probably going to tip off before the end of the box, because okay. we haven't really practiced locking yet. That's the method of where you push like the heel down against the box to control your rotation. You don't know how to do that yet, so that's yeah. fine. Okay. Do you have some questions about sending it? No, just like do the same as before. Yeah, man. Let's do it. One last detail before we send this scarier box is follow my tracks exactly and you're going to be fine. Because we're going to leave enough distance that the noses really can go over. Okay. And um, yeah, if you do that, we'll have a great time. <laughs> Yeah! Wow! <laughs> if you just would look, here's a little tip. Like, if you look at the right hand side's rail on the side of the box, the end of that one, it's gonna help you align yourself a little bit better. And also, you're gonna feel safe on it. Maybe you'll do a bit of a lock naturally then with the front ski's heel. It's gonna help you control it so you don't traverse over the box too much. Let's try one more. Yeah. That was such a good first attempt. Unreal. We can... Yeah. So freaking close. Yes! He freaking did it in how long time now? 
two hours minus six minutes. Yeah, just under two hours. Heck yes. What? Yeah. Which attempt was that? The fourth one? Was that the fourth attempt? Third? Wow! Well, he has the benefit of being a snowboarder. It's not the first time we've seen a box, but uh, this is abnormal. People don't learn this fast usually. Usually it involves a bit more hip crashes and frustration and also more happiness. You get even happier when you get it, when it's difficult. But uh, great work, Roger. Wow, Roger. Learning box slides that fast, that was unreal. How was it? It was great fun and you were a great teacher, obviously. Well, I'm not sure. Usually it doesn't happen that quickly. When I do a camp, I usually spend a couple of days to bring someone to do that kind of difficult box. But if you're sporting talented, you can learn really fast. Um, let us know in the comments below if you like this kind of concept where I teach someone else. Maybe we'll do more of this kind of videos. In the meantime, check out stompertutorials.com for our camps or online courses. Like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you again. Thank you.